What's the story with this duplex? Is it a dud? Does it make money? Let's find out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holden Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And this is the second episode of the show I filmed today for my man, Elvis. Elvis, I literally just sent you the other video, just got done uh, filming that for you. Duplex, right? You're a blue-collar guy, I'm a blue-collar guy. You're looking at blue-collar neighborhoods like this one, blue-collar rental properties, right? We're going to build up your portfolio. You've been working in the electrical trades for a couple decades, and uh, you're looking to create some legacy wealth, right? I think you said you want to eventually hand your portfolio of holdings down to your daughter. What we have here, brother, I'll get to the address in a second. Why well, I got the pictures pulled up. Let's just cruise through them. There's not many. Uh, they just took a bunch of exterior photos photos okay this is a d-class neighborhood i'm going to get into that in a second so you know this is very much going to be like low income investing but if we do it right it's going to be a cash cow right you could even see that they got some boarded up windows here right i mean you're going to get that kind of stuff when you're in one of these d-class neighborhoods right you got you know things like this right these are common for these price points these neighborhoods okay that's that's built into the cake, baked into the cake. That's what we're signing up for when we're going for this stuff. But this is actually uh, my favorite D-class neighborhood in the entire Cleveland market, okay? 3150 West 40th, Cleveland, 44109, listed at 89.9, just like the previous property. This is literally my favorite D-class neighborhood, right? It's very much a D-class neighborhood. You're very much dealing with a, a low-income tenant base. However, the reason that it is my absolute favorite D-class neighborhood is right next to Metro Health, okay? Metro Health, big, big hospital, right? If people look for uh, economic drivers of the Cleveland, the greater Cleveland area, people ask me that question all the time. It's healthcare, right? So, like, you know, if you're trying to buy in Silicon Valley and you're like looking for an economic driver, obviously it's big tech, right? Here, it's healthcare, right? Metro Health, big old hospital. They are investing a billion dollars into upgrading their campus as well as building housing in the immediate neighborhood. That's right where this neighborhood is. So I like opportunities. I see a lot of opportunity in this area. We could swoop in, pick these properties up for dirt cheap, put Section 8 tenants in them, right? So we can collect our rent at a reasonable rate, right? We don't have to deal with too many crazy, you know, non-payment issues and evictions, things of that nature, right? Section 8's like our cheat code, and I believe we're eventually going to see some appreciation. What we have here, right, to the rent roll, we got the three-bedroom unit that is rented at six forty-five a month. The two-bedroom unit is totally vacant. They didn't take any pictures. I believe they just evicted that uh, tenant. That, when we're done renovating it, will rent for seven fifty. Right. So, after we throw a tenant in there, we're going to be able to get you sixteen thousand seven hundred forty bucks a year in scheduled rents. Now, one thing to note too: the three-bedroom unit. We should probably be able to rent that for like eight, eight and a quarter. So you got some meat on the bone after that, right? Of the sixteen seven forty that comes in, I anticipate average performance of eighty four eighty four going out the door, eighty two fifty six coming in the door on average. And of course, as you see, eight twenty eight being saved for future capex, future vacancy and non payment, future repairs and maintenance because we do not have. Brand new roof. We do not have brand new furnaces. We do not have br uh, brand new hot water tanks, right? Mid to end of life. That's what we're dealing with, okay? So don't think you're coming in and getting all those brand new because we ain't. Now, all that said, they want $89.9 for it. I want to kind of lowball them a little bit. I don't think we got to pay $89.9. I want to lowball them. I want to come in $20,000 off. I want to try to pick it up at seventy. dollars We got that vacant unit. They haven't showed us any pictures. But look, I know we're probably going to need to do everything, right? <laughs> Unless there's like a gold toilet in there or some shit, this is what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to drop 10 Gs, okay? We're going to go in. That 10 Gs is going to allow us to do upgrades to the kitchen, the bath, Get all the walls fixed up, patched up. Look, they're tenants. They're low cup tenants, man. They fucking punch holes in the walls, all right? That's what they do. That, That's just part of the game. You want to be a, a low-income landlord? Motherfuckers are going to punch holes in your walls, guys. Welcome to the party, all right? So we're going to patch up the holes. 
agreeable gray paint throughout, white trim. Take those hardwoods, all this old Cleveland housing stock. We got hardwood floors under there. Spruce those up, right? We do that to save money between turnovers, right? You put carpet down, it looks cool. But guess what? Dogs, they piss on it. Kids, they drop stuff on it. You know, adults, they spill stuff on it, right? That's what happens in the rental game. So we got to harden our units. You get the hardwood floors. You put a nice epoxy coat over it. So when fucking Fido comes in and fucking lifts his leg and pisses all over your floor, it doesn't seep into the woodwork and make us have to replace that shit, tear it out down to the studs, down to the subfloor, stuff like that. You don't want to do that, right? You want the piss to beat up, okay? Now... You get all that stuff done, Home Depot, Lowe's, quality fixtures in the kitchens and the baths. We should be in the 10K or so range. Could be a little higher, could be a little lower. Again, you know, we're going off of some unknowns here, right? We're dealing with a little bit of unknowns, okay? But, hey, I told you in a different video, right? When you're buying stuff directly from other landlords, you're not dealing with professional turnkey sellers. You got to deal uh, with the fact that you're sometimes going to be getting limited information, right? If you want everything packaged up for you nice and neat with all the things you need to know check out my other show check out the investment properties for sale show we give you all the information we can video tours of the whole thing but if you're trying to really make some money get some elbow grease in there pick up some equity right you got to work with what's on the table okay so all that said with those unknowns and of course we're going to do more due diligence right you know this elvis you've been through the process with me we're gonna make our offers contingent on third-party home inspection and if new additional information comes out that we weren't anticipating i can go back to the sellers and try to beat those motherfuckers up try to get you guys some money off right that's the name of the game right but with everything i'm seeing so far i think if we pick it up at 70 we're doing great if we're putting 10 into it that's great we're all in for 80 it's a 10.3 cap and then when you calculate your cash on cash return guys just so you know right normally when you calculate your cash on cash return if you're doing numbers at home okay you take your noi and you divide that by your down payment which would be 17,500 that would net this property at like a 32 33 percent return on your investment or something like that right but note that i put 20.4 on the chart why because don't forget you do have to spend some money to get that tenant in that other unit folks so don't forget to add your initial repair cost to your down payment which is what i did so you take your noi and you divide it by not 17 and a half you divide it by 27 and a half which is how you get that 20.4 percent return on your money right so are you a lender if so Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. We're definitely going to want to move forward in this neighborhood with Section 8 tenants, alleviate some of the burden of the risk that this type of neighborhood has. We're hopefully going to see some love from the appreciation gods, considering we're getting a billion dollars of investment into the area. So I've invested heavily into this neighborhood. I think the prices are right right now to take on the risks of low income stuff, you know, dealing with, you know, like, you know, the, I mean, come on. The main picture there is it's like the, the, it's either like the, the railing of somebody's porch or like part of a crib, right? It's just chilling in the front yard. Like there's just a fucking chair right there. Like why is that fucking chair right there? That's not an outside chair. That's that's like a dining room chair from like the 90s, right? Like, I mean, dude, that, that, that's what it is. There's no sense uh, sugarcoating it, right? I'm sure everybody watching the show, you guys come here for the honesty, the transparency, right? So, you know, you're dealing with a difficult base of tenants. You're dealing with difficult stuff, right? But the Section 8 program, my opinion alleviates a lot of that risk. The other stuff is alleviated by these prices. The prices are ridiculous. And then again, they're injecting a billion bucks, man. So we get in early. We could possibly make a lot of money a lot of different ways. So Elvis, reply to the private link. Let me know what you think about this property. Let me know what you think about the property I sent you earlier today. If you want my team to make offers, we will do so. Of course, we'll make them contingent on the inspection, like I said, if I need to, if the opportunity arises. After we get that inspection, I will go back to the seller and beat that motherfucker up, try to get you some discounts. Everybody else, if you like what I'm doing, you like what we got going on, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number. We'll give you a call, talk to you about how we can work with you in the same way I'm working with Elvis. After we close these properties, guys, it don't matter where you live because my team, 
We have the full service experience for you. We're going to do the property management. We're going to do the renovations. We're going to find the tenants. We're going to cut the grass. When there's turds clogged in the toilet, my guys are going to unclog those turds for you guys. We're going to handle the insurance. We are going to handle the title work to make sure you get clear and marketable insured title. We have got the top to bottom one-stop shop in the Cleveland market. That's all I've got today. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.